Jerzy Janowicz. This guy has one of the purest talents tennis has ever seen. Earlier in his career, he struggled to get into big tournaments due to the lack of money and sponsorships. However, in November of 2012, he finally qualified for his first ever Masters main draw in the Paris Masters. And in no time, he won the hearts of all tennis fans with his unorthodox play style and genius trick shots. Oh, that was sensational! He hit that blind, turning away from the shot, and he's hit an absolutely stunning winner. Jersey pulled off something crazy in Paris, where he managed to beat world number 19 Philippe Kuleschreiber in the first round, Marin Cilic in the second, Andy Murray in the third, where he played the match of his life, leaving the crowd speechless. I mean, mentally, he really has shown to have a say. Was that three aces? Then he went on to beat Janko Tipsarevic and Jill Simon to reach the final and become the first qualifier to do so since 2003. Unfortunately, his dream run came to an end and he lost to David Ferrer in the final. In 2013, he started to get more recognition as he reached his highest career ranking of number 47 in the world. He also got recognized by none other than the great Roger Federer. That's what Roger said before their encounter in the quarterfinals of Rome. I've seen a little bit of him. Obviously, he's got a big game, unconventional shot selection at times, but really fun to watch. So, um, you know, difficult uh, matchup. He's got a, some say clearly uh, for the outcome of the match because he's, that, he's got that big of a game, and I got to be careful. And uh, I hope I can make it uh, tough for him to beat me. John. A few months later, the biggest moment of Jersey's career came in Wimbledon. He reached his first and only Grand Slam semi-final when he came up against the home favorite, Andy Murray. Before we go over that match, let me tell you what happened to the rest of his career. After Wimbledon, he started suffering from one injury to another. A foot injury followed by a knee injury that pretty much killed his dream of pursuing a tennis career. Janowicz still hasn't announced his official retirement from tennis, but I believe he's more focused on the sport of paddle right now. Hope you enjoyed today's video, and as always, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more original tennis content. Thank you so much for watching, and without further ado, see you in the next video.